Um, I don't want to make this long-winded, but um, I just wanted to share this message uh, just in case some of you guys were not fully aware. Um, I know a lot of us, we are waking up on so many different levels, um, which is great. Let's keep it going. Let's continue to awaken within ourselves. Um, but there are still other levels that we're kind of, we're basically lagging on. So it's just time to get straight to the point with one of the main focuses um, with awakening so that we can just get to it. Um, and I'll get into what exactly I am talking about specifically. Um, and this is basically all talking about the astral realm. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, so the astral war, all wars come from the astral. Everything comes from the astral. If you understand, um, if you understand that everything happens etherically first, whether it be from the mental plane, emotional plane, emotional point of view, um, spiritual point of view, all of those unseen realms of thought, everything begins there. Everything that you can sense physically within this dense realm, the third dimension, everything within this third dimension is simply a result of the etherically planned. And I'll say that again, everything that you experience physically, okay, <laughs> everything, your world, yourself, your situations, your circumstances, all of that is a result of etherical planning. So basically the astral plane is lit is the literal blueprint of what we see as the world, which is basically a program. Okay, I'm not here to debate on whether, you know, I'm not here to talk about AI simulation or anything like that. We are within a we are biological beings, okay? We have a biological setting, but there is a part of this bio, a biological setting that is indeed entrapped within a, a, a very small program, uh, which is where you only experience about 4% of what there really is. Um, so that's this little teeny tiny matrix of a program that we call the world, Earth, the seven continents, as if there's nothing else surrounding that. But anyway. The astral realm controls that this small portion of the program. So um, basically what happens is the astral realm is not just for floating around in your astral body, having experiences. That's cool and all. It's just like, like I said, the physical realm. You got a club on the physical realm, trust and believe there's a club in the astral. <laughs> all right, you got a church in the physical realm, there's a church in the astral. There's a direct mirror of what is here that we experience that is in the astral. However, understand that it was built in the astral first. So again, I'm gonna take it back to the astral. Astral comes before earth. Astral comes before this realm. The astral is really crowded. <laughs> if you've traveled within the astral con uh, consciously, then you understand that it's a, it's a, it's a holding space for everybody and their mama, whether past or alive. Okay, so it's, it's actually more <laughs> than what we see here on this planet. So it's a, it's a very vast space holding a lot of um, fragments of consciousness. So let's go back to the astral realm for a second. There is a, there's military in the astral realm. There is a assassins <laughs> that work within the astral realm. Um, there are all kinds of agencies that have um, setups that are within the astral realm. Okay, so understand that they set up shop. Your governments, but not even your governments because that's way too of a low... Uh, low side of the totem pole. The the controllers or the collective that controls the governments, they have they set up shop within the astral because that's where it all begins. So when we talk about time, time doesn't exist here. Time exists in the astral. Okay, astral is the creation of time. Time doesn't exist beyond the astral. Time doesn't exist in this realm. Time only exists in the astral. That is the cube. That is like, that's that Saturn energy. That's what's holding the astral in place. Okay, so time is a construct that exists within the astral. 
So when we talk about time, in real time, what we think is present, that is in the astral. Astral is always in present time because that's where time is. What we're experiencing here is not time. It's memory or it's a residue or a result of astral time. Okay, so I feel what I've been in, what I've been intuitively feeling is that we're always a year behind the astral. One year behind the astral. Everything that happens in the astral, okay, when it's happening, we experience it physically in our reality a year later. So the reason why these agencies don't give a shit on what you got to say on YouTube or Facebook and your little collective and community, the reason why they don't give a shit is because you don't, you don't know that you are lagged. You are too late already. Okay, if you wanna be strategic about anything within this realm, you gotta place your consciousness within the astral and work from there. Become the magician in that area and it will trickle, it, it will basically trickle down into your physical experience. This is basically how the magicians, like real magicians like David Blaine, 